Welcome back. Once we have downloaded all the software and installed XAMPP. While installing XAMPP, it would have taken the default location where it would install XAMPP. So look for that location and go inside the XAMPP folder. Or if you have given another folder where you have kept XAMPP, that's also fine. So inside XAMPP, you will find a lot of things. So please do not touch anything. What we need to do is look for this htdocs folder. Go inside this folder and this is the place where we will keep our files which we need for all kinds of development purposes related to WordPress or maybe any PHP application. So make sure you are inside XAMPP and then inside htdocs. The next thing that we have to do is the WordPress that we have downloaded, the zip file, copy and paste inside this folder. So this is the one and then go ahead and right click and extract here. Once you have extracted it here, then I don't need this zip file. So I am going to delete this. So this is my WordPress folder. What I want to do is I want to open my Visual Studio Code Editor. I will open my this WordPress folder inside my Visual Studio Code Editor. So that I'm going to do by try, oh, trying to by I will try to open the CMD here. So I will say cmd.exe. So it's going to open command prompt here and here I will just say code space dot. If I do this, then it's going to open Visual Studio Code Editor. And then in that editor, it's going to open the folder WordPress. So you make sure you have installed Visual Studio Code Editor before doing this. Another way to do the same thing is directly open your Visual Studio Code Editor. And then from file, open folder and then you can go to the folder where the WordPress is installed here. So you can come here directly. All right. So I hope this is clear enough. So next thing that we have to do now is go ahead and start our server. XAMPP server. So once you have installed the XAMPP you, on the search, if you type XAMPP, you will get this control panel. So right click on this and run as administrator. Once you do this, it's going to open the control panel. So this is a control panel where you can operate a lot of things. It provides us a file Zilla client and also Tomcat and other things. But for us, what matters is this Apache server and MySQL. Make sure port 80 or 8080 is free. Nothing is running there. So go ahead and click start on this Apache. So it's going to start on port 80 and click start on my SQL. Once you have done this, then click on the admin page here of Apache. So it's going to open the home page of Apache server. And then here we can see all the information like PHP information and other stuff but what I need is php my admin so click on this it's going to take you to the database all the databases that you have so click on new and create a new database so here you can give a name as 
custom theme you have to remember this and click create so this database will be created next we don't have to do anything as our server has started so I can even close this if you close this it will be always available here so you can click and it will open next thing what we have to do is we have to access our application WordPress application so now before we do that make sure to do a small change open your visual studio code editor in which the WordPress folder has been opened go to this file called WP config hyphen sample right click on this file go to rename and change this to WP config only that's it and click enter so now the file is renamed scroll down and here we have to change the database details so in the database name I gave custom theme so I will use that database user is by default root if you have created another user DB user you can give that and database password by default is blank empty so leave it empty and rest other things leave it as is the database host is local host port 80 so it's by default taking if your application is running on another port make sure you provide that here but it's by default 80 so we will not touch that once all this is done then we are good with our installation steps of wordpress so let's do that in the next video thank you welcome back so now what we will do is we will try to access our wordpress application via browser and complete the installation process so let's go ahead and do that so here the name of the folder is wordpress which is inside ht docs so whatever is the name of this folder for you if you have given another name make sure to use the same name so whatever is inside this ht docs after that you have this folder so i will go to the browser assuming that the application is running on localhost port 80 i will type the name of the folder and the name of the folder is wordpress here and hit enter and this was the name of the folder wordpress hence we have written localhost slash wordpress then it's going to open the wordpress installer so here we are going to choose the language click continue make sure you have done the database configuration changes in the wp config file before doing this step otherwise you will get an error db cannot be connected give a name to the site we can change this later on so custom custom theme username you can give i will give admin for now password doesn't matter you can give any password that you want for now i will just say admin for remembering purpose but don't give this in production and i will confirm this as weak password that's fine because this is my local development so it will be gone so that's okay and you should give an email which you want if you want to do a recovery of your username or password for now i will just use my user dummy email and click install so now what it is doing is wordpress is creating all its tables which is needed which it needs for the purpose of installation so if i go to the database and go to the custom theme click here so it will all create all its tables that it needs so now it has created everything that we wanted to have so now if you click here 
it will take you to a screen where you can log in with the username password that you provided so type admin admin that's the username password i used and click on login so once you will be logged in successfully you will land on the wordpress dashboard so let's go ahead and continue in our next video about the wordpress walkthrough of the dashboard thank you for watching this video i will see you in the next one